G'day folks, Connor here from CW's Tech Reviews, back with another video. And tonight we're doing a quick video on how to install Android Q Beta Preview on the Nokia 8.1. So without further ado, grab your computer, grab your phone, grab a USB cable, hit the like button and the subscribe button, and let's get stuck into my video. Let's go. Okay guys, so there's gonna be a few different steps to do this. Now the first thing is you gotta make sure there's no rolling back to Android 9. So once you do this, you're stuck on Android Q until at least mid-May, maybe even a bit later. So there's no way to go back if you don't like it. Secondly, you should do this at your own risk. If you screw this up, then it's your problem. Don't really wanna hear about it. But if you need help, comments down below, I'm happy to help out. Second thing is you're gonna to need to download some files to your laptop, so make sure you have enough room on it. Third thing is make sure you've backed up everything on your phone because we're gonna wipe it all. It's all gonna get squished, squashed, squashed away. So it's gone, so back it up. And the fourth thing is you're gonna need a USB Type-C cable and your Nokia 8.1. So, first thing I want you to do is go to the Nokia website, link down below, and register for developer preview builds. Once you have confirmed that this does work on your device, you can then download the preview file. It is about 1.1 gigabytes, so make sure you have internet connection. And even with fast internet, it still was fairly slow for me. It took about one hour to download. Then you also need to download the SDK Android platform tools. Download them, put them on C drive. Once the file has downloaded to flash to your phone, put it in the same folder as those files. Make sure your phone is up to date. You have enabled developer mode by tapping on build number seven times, just like this, and then also enabling USB debugging. Then we should be set up, ready to go. From your folder where your files are downloaded, I want you to press shift, right click on your mouse. Open command prompt from here or PowerShell from here as well. From there, I want you to follow this command that is coming up on your screen. ADB space devices. And that will show you that your device is connected and you can see it. If you get an error, you're doing it wrong and you need to relook at what you're doing. So just make sure you're putting in the correct command. Next, I want you to type ADB space reboot space recovery, just like it's come up on my screen here. That will reboot your device into recovery mode and you will see a green Android logo with a red exclamation mark and it doesn't look cool. Hold the power button and press volume up and this will give you a menu. Then I want you to scroll down to apply update from ADB. Now, once you're in there, I want you to follow this command. ADB space sideload space, the name of the file dot zip. Now I've renamed my folder, my file, that I got from Nokia, just to Android Q, just to make it easy. So adb space sideload space Android Q dot zip is what I had to type. If you've got a big long file name, then you're gonna to have to put that in dot zip. So just bear that in mind. Once that is finished, I want you to press volume up and select wipe data factory reset. Hit yes, you definitely need to do this. Once it has reset, you can start your device and this is what it will look like. Android Q setting up on the Nokia 8.1. Now hit the like button and the subscribe button if you feel like it. I don't really care if you do or don't, but it'd be nice if you did. I'm gonna do a quick what I think video shortly on Android Q and you can let me know what you wanna see in it. I know this is lots of bugs in this developer previewed version three. So we'll just play it by ear, see how it goes. That's it. I hope you enjoy Android Q, and I'll catch you in the next video. Check out.